blessings beautiful people i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day today is day 16 of the 30 for 30 prayer challenge where we're taking 30 minutes for 30 days before the lord in prayer and as you can see i ain't got no fingers to hold up or enough fingers to hold up to make 16 but today is uh, day 16 and our devotional text comes from proverbs 3 5 through 6 which reads trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths so i want to break down a couple of words um when when solomon is talking about to trust he's saying listen i need you to be confident I need you to lean on. I need you to be secure. I need you to be in a place of safety. That's what trusting God is. It's I'm confident in, in God. I trust him. I'm, I'm confident in his word. I'm confident in him. I'm confident that if he said it, he going to do it, that he will never leave me nor forsake me, that he's always with me and everything that he does towards me, his actions towards me is good. So I am going to trust the Lord with all my heart. And then the word lean, to lean means you ain't trying to go with what you think, that you ain't trying to follow your way. You ain't trying to, and I know we all have that way where we think we know everything and we, I know this, so I'm, I'm just, I know this the right way, so I'm going to go this way. And God is saying, no, 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 trust me, that right here, when you, when you trying to make a decision, when you trying to, trust me right here for that job don't don't trust me for it i know you want it i know it's what you desire but it may not be the plan and purpose that i have for your life and you don't know the whole picture it may be something that you may have for a few months but it may not last long and it may end abruptly and god may see that so he is asking you you don't know the whole story you don't know the whole picture you just see some of it you see a glimpse of it but if you trust me that i know everything and that I wouldn't lead you astray. So that's lean. And then it says, not on your own understanding, not, not on your own knowledge, not what you perceive to be right. Because again, you don't know the whole story. You just know some of it. So you have to trust God, although he's given us discernment. But when we're asking God to direct and order our steps, we have to trust that he going to do it. And then it says, and in all your ways, acknowledge him to acknowledge him means you're going to consider him in every way in every way in your life you're going to consider him you're going to declare that god uh is the head of your life that god is going to do what he said he's going to do you're going to acknowledge him you're going to uh declare it you're going to consider um letting him know about your plans um you know many are the plans in a, in the man's heart but it's the lord plans that prevails um, and then it says, it goes on to say, um, and he will direct your paths. That word direct means he'll approve it. He'll, he'll lay it out smooth, that he'll make it level, that he'll make it straight. So if you trust God, if you acknowledge him in all your ways, if you don't lean to what you think, but you lean on God's understanding because he's all knowing, he knows everything. There is nothing he doesn't know. There is nothing new under the sun unto God. God literally knows everything. So we think we smart. No, God is, I, I was about to say 10 times smarter, but he's an infinitely all knowing all wise he's perfect and just so because he's all of those things we can trust that he's going to direct our path that he's going to make it smooth that he's going to make it straight that he's going to make it right um and he's going to order our steps right that he's not going to lead us astray um that he's going to lead us down the right path he's going to lead us down the path that gives us life um and it may not be good it it it, it may look crazy like you got to be willing to trust God when you can't trace him when it looks like God this is dark this don't look like you you hear uh right now uh but I'm going to trust you you got to get to that place of just trusting him when it doesn't seem like he's there and you have to know that you know that you know that he'll never leave you nor forsake you that greater is he that's in you that he then he that's in the world so god is working great in you no matter what it looks like no matter if you can't trace him no matter if it doesn't feel like he's there he's there you gotta know it so be blessed people i love you have a great day bye